In this exercise, we will create our model. We have our horizontal and vertical geometry and also created our Kant and our siding ge geometry here. To create my model, first I need to create my corridor. I go and select my track main. And from the heads up display, I select create corridor. As the feature definition, I select final. And then uh, I see that it asks me for the profile. So I reset to use active profile and then accept to name this as track main. As the template, I can select the template by hitting Alt and Down keys from my keyboard, or as well, I can just click here and then navigate to templates, rail, and select single track ballasted with rails, this template, and hit OK. I accept that. Then for the start station, I hit Alt key and it locks to start, accept. Hit Alt key to lock the end, accept. Drop interval is 10 meter, minimum transition 0, 0. And now it calculates the corridor. So the corridor is created. To better see what we have created, you can hit F9 key from your keyboard. And this will display a side-by-side -side view. Open the view to and display your default 3D model. So you can see my model here. In this region, I can see that I have a big cut value. This is because we are um, passing a mountain range in here. To be able to more clearly see that, in the view one, I just click inside the view one, and then from here, I go to background map and change this to aerial. And I can see that in this region, I am passing through this mountainous area. So I just turn off my background map. So first we will apply our Kant alignment. We created our Kant alignment in the previous exercises, but this is yet not uh, applied to this corridor. So I just select my corridor. These spikes here are my corridor object. I click on it. Wait a second, then go to hammer and from here corridor objects. In the corridor objects view, I will define the Kant alignment using a point control. So I go to point control, select add new. From the interface, I select the mode as vertical, control type as Kant. And then I can continue selecting from here. As the Kant, I will select my Kant object. That is what we created before. As the center Kant point, I select the rail Kant. Left Kant point is rail Kant L. And the right Kant point is rail Kant R. These points and the naming of these points are coming from my template. So these points exist in my template and they are used to control the uh, can't apply it on the template. So after that, from uh, my heads up display, I just lock the start station again with using Alt key to the start, accept that. Same for the end station, accept that. I don't enter any control description. Mode is vertical, control type is can't. I accept the can't, I already selected it from the interface. Accept rail can't my points. I just accept these as I already selected them. And the priority is one and offset is zero. So now the can't is applied to my model. I can dismiss this dialog by hitting close. And in here we can see that 
the count is applied. Again, uh, all these relationships are ruled. So if I happen to change, for example, a radius in my geometry, or if I change speed or j just directly change something uh, like the applied count, this will uh, result in a change in my model. So for example, if I change the radius of this curve, it will update the count and this will in turn update my model. So next we will continue with placing our tunnel. In this region, we will pass this mountain range with placing a tunnel temp. Again, I go to my corridor objects menu. And in the template drops, I have a single template drop currently that the same template goes through all my alignment. But for my uh, tunnel, I need to use a new template. So I go here and from template drops, I hit add new. As template, I select again in the templates rail folder, tunnel platforms and select single track tunnel with rails. So this is the template that we want to apply. I accept this and it asks for a start station. As the start station, I type in 4000. This is just before this big cut area. And as the stop station, the end station, I select, I type in 6300. This is again just exit of the, this big cut. Drop interval is 10 meters. Minimum transition is zero zero and now it is updating so this is updated now we can see that the program just placed this tunnel to here and in my template drop menu i see three entries the first one is the single uh, track this is the tunnel and then after the tunnel again we have our single track so in the 3d view we can more clearly see that the cut section is gone and instead the tunnel is created we will continue with uh, creating our siding model since in the siding location here we have not a single but two tracks which are the main track and the siding track we need to use a different template that has two ballast layers. So for that, again, I go to my corridor objects. In the template drop, I'll add a new template drop, add new. As the template, I uh, will select the template here, single track siding right. This template is special, a special template that has rules that can create both single and double ballast uh, templates so i select ok i accept this and then as the start station i need to just start before the siding so i just type in 400 and as the stop station and station i type in 1500 that is just after the siding location. There's a drop interval as this uh, region has a considerable amount of change in a relatively short distance. I enter a smaller area that is two meters and accept this as zero. And the model is created. So if we just look at the location from here we'll see that in this location the modeling is more dense but 
Still, there is no change as we also need to tell the program to use the siding geometry for the second ballast layer, second track. So we, for that, we'll use a point control. We click Add New, and we can select uh, the properties, the options from our mouse or from here. Let's first select the start and stop station. Start station is 400. It is again just before the start of the siding and the stop station is again just after the finish of siding geometry, which is 1500. For the rest, I will go and enter from here. As control description, you can type siding one. For the point, you need to select the point that controls the branch ballast layer which in this case, in our templates, it is PGL branch. The mode is horizontal, the control type is linear, and the plan element, you can also select this from the screen, but again, we'll be doing it from here, siding one. You may or may not use it as secondary alignment. We'll just use it as secondary alignment, so we'll have better and slopes. And then we will go and accept this from the screen. So accept siding one, accept PGL branch, horizontal, linear, siding one again, and use a secondary priorities one, horizontal offsets are zero. So it is now remodeling. And we can see that the point control, this is our geometry, is applied and now the template in this region, the model has the proper siding model. Also, we can take a look at our cross sections. So to do that, you can use the dynamic cross section. There's also cross sections that are used for deliverables, but it is topic of another training. So we'll use just the dynamic ones. I'll just click on my corridor. Go to corridor views and select the open cross section model. I open the view 7, click inside, and I can see my uh, cross section. You can navigate through the cross section using the arrow keys, or you can just right click here and hold, right click and hold, and from here select the locate station via data point, and then select plan view. Let's take a cross section from here, like station is 800, and I can see how my template is created. If we go back or forward, we can see our template, or, or let's take a look at how the cant is applied. Again, right click and hold, locate station via data point, select the plan view, and let's see in here, and you can clearly see how the cant is applied on the model. So this concludes our modeling exercise. We modeled both our siding and our tunnel that you can see here. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.